Holiday season, you can give the gift of science fun toys for the kids that are educational as well. Kim Moldovsky writes the Maker Mom blog and is here with some gift ideas. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's start with this. Sure. This is a great open-ended, uh, great for open-ended play. It's called the Make Do, and you can buy sets of uh, pre-made sets or just free play sets that have a safe saw, something called the Reclip and hinges so that you can take all those cardboard boxes from the holidays uh, yeah. and turn, turn them, them into, into art or oh, cool. fun. Very so we've got cool. a robot here from the kit and again great for open-ended free okay. play and engineering. All right, this looks a little more complicated. This is something called the Snap Circuit Set. It's made by a local company in Wheeling called Olenko and it will encourage kids to... Can we to, hold this up because we can't yeah, even see this sure. here. All right, there it is. It encourages kids to learn about electricity and light through a kit oh. that comes with close to 200 activities. I've got something set up here where if you speak into the mic, this will light You're up with me. your voice. Here. Test, all right, guess what? Testing one, two, three. Did it light up? No, it didn't light up. Hello. Oh, okay, there, there it go. goes. Hello. Hello. That's oh, better yeah, with that's the higher tone. I could go on for hours I with think. that. Yeah, so this is great for kids about ages 8 and up. It retails for about $70. Maybe there's some great Cyber Monday deals out okay. there for it. Um, moving on in the electronics realm, I need to sure. sneak back here to the robot and take away one of my components. Uh, this is a set called Little, Little Bits, and it is electronic modules for prototyping and play. And it was designed for adults, but it's actually great fun for little kids and can teach them about the basics of electronics. You've got some color-coded pieces here. Blue is power, pink is input, and green is output. And they snap together magnetically, so it's somewhat... And you use it to your power proof. what? Well, you can use it just for fun. Okay. Like you can see how different switches work. Uh -huh. um, here we've got a slider bar. We can replace the lights. And that looks um, relatively harmless. Yeah, it is relatively harmless. But you can also use it as, you know, I had the robot's nose lighting sure. up over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to show it in another second over here with our next item. Um, this is a book called robotics by Kathy Ciceri. She's a mom who features a lot of low-tech ideas that apply to high-tech areas. So for example, um, we're going to talk about a pricey robot in a minute. Here's a low-cost robot that people can make at home. This is an art bot called a Vibrobot. <laughs> Look at that. So magic markers. Magic are markers legs. are the legs. And we just use some simple materials that were easy to find at home. And I'm going to attach it to a vibrating motor. Are you kidding me? Look at this. And you. now it starts to move around and dance. Oh, and we'll get that. some interesting robot-generated art. Wow, that's pretty cool. And what's the fancy one over here? The fancy one is Lego Mindstorms. And this is a programmable robot. It comes, the kit comes with several hundred pieces. I need to just select the right program here. <laughs> Okay, I have to, this is where I admit that my son, who programmed yeah. this, really wanted to come with me on TV. And, uh, and you made the I wrong decision. I would let him, if he's watching this now <laughs> at school, he's like, yeah. Mom, yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah, a lot of good he's doing here? this in school. Okay, so this actually is pretty simple. I just hit the wrong button. All right. Well, let's okay. move on. It, okay. I'm sure whatever it does, it's fantastic. Okay, so the great thing with Mindstorms yeah. is it comes with different sensors. So if this was working, what you would see, if I could get it to work, yeah. um, you would see that it would hit my hand and this pressure sensor would send it back. But over on this end, it's got an ultrasonic sensor. So if it sees something in its path, it'll start to reverse. Okay, and just real quick, we can play the piano on the computer with marshmallows. With marshmallows. So, so you've got to be holding this with one hand. Oh, okay. So we've got, and you've got to touch the metal part. Oh, and then you, you can move yeah. that around. This is called the Makey Makey. We got this from Spark Fun, and I think you went off the, the radar here. Okay, so just go back and forth. Oh, look at that. I like that. And you can use the Makey Makey to Very turn nice. anything into a keyboard. Oh, I like so a lot of the fun. old marshmallow. That's fun stuff. Exactly. You can check out Kim's blog, themakermom.com, and you can follow her on Twitter at Kim Moldovsky. It is on your screen. Hey, Robin.